Hey everyone, hey brothers and sisters. Hey brothers and sisters, can I ask you guys to pray for me a bit? I know that you have been. My leg's doing okay. It's still a little, you know, sore and tender and I want it to be better. And I, I ask and pray that you guys will pray for me. And I thank you so very much. I ask that we pray for this person in this video. It is so clear and heartbreaking to see that they need Jesus Christ. You know what? We all need Jesus Christ. It will be hard to recognize and realize that at first because we've all been brainwashed by the satanic world. But once you put things in perspective, in focus, see that the future with God is great. And here on earth, things can be better. It's not about fame and fortune. It's about being happy with God. It's about being happy with what God has given us. And getting on in life and telling people the truth of the gospel that saves their souls. Leah Delaria is an actress. They are a homosexual person that dresses more like a male. This is not something God wants the world to do. It's not because God is mean. It's because he wants us to live a certain way that is right to him and benefits us. So when going through their social media, people are catching on to this stuff. That person there says, industry slaves have to show who they work for. Look at their one eye that's exposed as they do one eye symbolism, the eye of Horus here, using a flower to darken one eye utterly. We've seen this a hundred gazillion times. It's not because this person loves Jesus and truth so much. It's quite in fact the opposite of that. Industry slaves have to show who they work for. It's not cool. It's sad. It's aggravating. It's insanity. This may just be a photo to some people, but most of you that follow this channel and others like it realize that this is a nod to the small g god of this world, who they work for. Industry slaves have to show who they work for. It very much seems to be the case, and it's sad. Here's a mess. There would be no pride. Pride is a sin, and having pride of homosexuality and transgenderism is sin and abomination according to God. There would be no pride without black trans women and a black butch lesbian. Huh. Throwback Thursday, when I was Satan in 2004. Haha, <laughs> making fun of the biblical world, Satan and hell, what a laughing matter. I am sarcastic a lot in my videos because I'm a regular person. I'm a sinner that hates sinning and doesn't like living in this world very much. There's things that I love and appreciate here. But living in a world where entertainment, in quotes, and, and then some, is sold out like this. And this is like, it's a cartoon version of Satan. They're wearing devil horns. Ha ha ha, very funny. But it's serious business. They're hanging out on the Freemason checkerboard. In a video earlier today, we saw a woman that wants to be a man talking about how gender-neutral bathrooms, everyone use the same bathroom together. Children, why not? This person says, transgender people don't want to use the bathroom of their intended gender to prey on kids or your wives. They want to use it because they really have to pee. Yes, I'm sure this is the only reason. They throw up the devil horns and stick out their tongue, looking like the world. They're doing it again here. Doesn't this look like a normal, natural person and a natural response to being photographed? Huh. They seem to like doing that. Too late. I'm pretty sure one of your kids is already gay. Happy Pride, Brazil. Hey, if you're a parent, you're probably like, yeah. Okie dokie then. 
She and a friend like to darken one of their eyes utterly doing the slam dunk pose. Their shirt says, enjoy my name for the male part, right? I, I don't want to be gross on this channel. I show gross things, but it's not like I've done it. I'm showing you what the world is like and how people take pride in it. And so, enjoy my something coming from the person that does this. Please use your discretion and discernment in all things, especially when it comes to entertainment, the world and homosexuality and gender. All you need to do is look at a few examples and you can see the spirit that is behind this. I want this person to be saved, to live in truth, to go to heaven, not go to hell. If I wanted that to be the case, I could easily just not say anything not be passionate about videos and getting this information out to people that want to listen and hopefully open the eyes of other people. This stuff is serious business. We laugh at times because we have to. We're all human. This stuff is overwhelming. But can you see the one-eye symbolism? Even if it's just one picture, it screams loudly, living for the world. That person says industry slaves have to show who they work for, and it's true. Brothers and sisters, let's pray for the people on this channel. Let's keep the body of Christ active and motivated and inspired to tell the truth about the gospel of Jesus and his death, burial, and resurrection according to the scriptures to be saved and more. And let's show, let's shine the light on the darkness in this world that is all around the world. God bless you, everyone.